This here is Backwoods Billy coming to the beautiful Delmar of the Eastern Shore doing a review of Budweiser Freedom Reserve and Tommy Bahamas bottle opener's little lobster. I know Ron Gralis would like that from Ron's Beers and Tools. Remember to click, like, and subscribe to Backwoods Billy Crappy Reviews, not only on YouTube, check me out on Twitter at Backwoods Billy CBR. And coming soon to Facebook, Backwoods Billy Crappy Reviews, Google Plus, Backwoods Billy Crappy Reviews. Um, we got the Freedom Reserve right here, and I've got my lifetime bottle opener I typically use, which is my um, little napkin. Um, mossy Oak. Mossy Oak. Bottle of lifetime warranty on it. And what I'm going to do is a little glass going here. All right, this is 5.4% ABV um, on this. Now, here's the thing. It doesn't give you a hop range. Now, typically with this type of beer, 4.5 to 5.5 in the amber log on a red lager is going to be your ABV range. 18, I mean, is you're going to be alcohol bond. 18 to 30 is going to be your IBU range. Your SRM, standard reference method for your color, is 10 to 16. So if you know what the category should be, it'll give you where you're going to be. Now, since when you look at AB InBev, they say it has 171 calories, okay? Um, and it has basically uh, two grams of protein and like 17 grams of carbs. Now, according to um, Untapped, it's they give you a, uh, 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 the right ABV, but they give you 145 calories, which is Budweiser regular. So they didn't even check the calories out. They put the stuff. They don't even check the information. Make sure it's correct. Um, this beer should be a medium body, medium carbonation beer. It should be a copper color to like an amber color. Um, typically, Carapils and or Vienna malts are going to be used in this to give you your color range on it. Slightly nutty flavor. And because it has molasses in it, you're going to have sweeter, drier beer. The ingredients are filtered water uh, on this, your malted barley, then you're going to have your molasses and your hops. So since they're telling me that my hops is my last ingredient, I would assume the beer is be slightly dry because of the rice and the molasses. And I would assume, looking at this, that my IBUs be closer to the lower range on the, the thing, but I could be wrong, it could be higher because the molasses is the copper further down, I would assume that. Use my bottle opener. So what makes this um, the special reserve? Did they do anything Well, what they did is, yes, glad you asked that. Um, George Washington, by the way, look at this little bottle opener there, Tommy Bahamas. This my wife bought this for me, it's a lobster. Let's just let's take it back, never know. Um, had a hard time getting him off, there's like plastic tied in there. Um, in essence, it's all based on George Washington. See this? By the way, people brand it, third wave list to me, and actually change their cans for their brand where you can see where it says third wave. Everybody that's a crapper should listen to this. See, it's Budweiser right away, right? Freedom Reserve is smaller. It's red lager, so you know who makes it automatically. Anyway, it's a George Rest Washington's handwritten recipe. And George Washington, as we know, is the father of this country, but he was also an avid home brewer. He loved beer, primarily porters. This was actually a red beer that he brewed. Now, I'm going to get back more to this once we do a review of it as to why some craft beer Nazis basically need to be slapped around a little bit. I'm going to do that for them. If they want to come here, I'll do it physically. Anyway, a little copper color to the lager. A nice, basically light, fluffy, um, light tan head. Dissipates quickly. I'd say a light to medium carbonation in this. Wouldn't you say it's a color of like a root beer or like a like an iced tea, light iced tea? Something kind of orangey red. That's amber. Yeah. No, but I mean, I was trying to think of a drink. That okay, you get to. like a, you can get the molasses, the caramel to this. Uh, light, nutty, slightly biscuity quality to the fragrance on it. Smells really good. It smells delicious. Caramel toffee. The toffee's really big on this. I'm looking for search for the thing and when it tastes too good and it's not in the aromatic. You get the caramel toffee, uh, medium body filler. I think the body is slightly heavier due to the molasses. You can definitely taste it in there. You get the, like I said, coffee, the caramel to this. Uh, it should be like a noble hops, and I'm getting that to me slightly herbal as well. Um, 
Oh, so you don't taste the rice in there. You don't taste rice. So this makes the bile a bit lighter. This is beautiful beer. It's not um, as heavy bodied as some beers would be that are um, like a brand of Amos lighter. It definitely hits all of its marks for what it is. It's really good. It is slightly drying on the finish. Um, I would say your food pairings with this are going to be like seafood, my number one food pairing. I like steak with this as well. Hot dogs, hamburgers mainly. I would put hamburgers in there. Which, by the way, right now you're better off going to Ruby Tuesdays and Chili's and places like that for your hamburgers because they're actually cheaper than McDonald's. However, I, I do want to head to Burger King because Burger King has a Budweiser burger, don't they? Brand new just out. So I do want to check that out. Anyway, back into this. I love the, the bobbit the, from Tiny Bahamas. We bought this. My wife bought it when she saw it. New lobster matches our other table. It's actually, home. I don't know what it is. It's cast aluminum or iron or, I mean, it, it feels heavier. It seems like it fits in the hand easier to open. Yeah, it shape. actually has, like, it's got a good movement to it. Like, it fits your hand, how you, you got the curve in your palm. Yeah, it's more ergonomic. It's going to be that way. Now, going back to this, you mentioned it was the, what caused them to make this. It was based, you can get a um, thrill list, and you can look up Budweiser Freedom Reserve thrill list on Google to take you right there. I'm going to put this, a lot of this in the writing description. I'll get this out there for this. In essence, in 2015, there was a bunch of craft brewers, one of them being Sierra Nevada, that made th this beer. Now, here's the problem with the recipe. First of all, all these Nazis came in, craft beer, and I know so much about beer. I know what an IBU is. I know what ABV is. I take it up the butt. Anyway, I can say what I want to say. It's my channel. I really don't care. I'm tired of being PC all the time. I'm going to say what I want to say. If you think you know a lot about beer and you can't brew beer, you don't know crap about beer. So that's qualify that. You may know more than somebody sitting on a bar stool getting drunk, but you don't know that much about beer. The common slam stuff before you do the research. First of all, the recipe, what they said is it was loosely based on George Washington's recipe. And everybody came out there and slammed it. Yes, George Washington did not make a lager. They're correct. Loosely based on it. First of all, a lot of craft brewers will tell you they can't even make a log. The reason why is it requires a lot of space to store it, requires more time to make it. So if you don't have a lot of space, you can't do it. It Also, a lot can go wrong with a log due to the fact that it's being stored, hence the German word for stored, lagering, for a longer period of time. So that's the first step of it. Um, and to make it clear, it's a little more work than an ale. It being cloudy and off is generally acceptable in that category. His recipe was for an ale. It was not for a porter. Most of them, because Washington made a porter, also loosely based their recipe. First of all, I looked at the actual recipe, which, by the way, anybody who really knows about beer would know that the New York Library basically has a lot of information on that, thanks to scratching and everything, um, that would tell you about the George Washington's recipes, a lot of recipes handwritten. It's very, very base. First, I can hardly read his handwriting. It's worse than mine. Basically, what it, he's got in there, what the recipe is, and he says, look for... Um, I don't know how he put it, Brahm hops or Bran, Bran hops, which there is no such thing. In essence, he probably was wandering through the woods, which people theorized, to pick wild hops, which is true. He did do that. So he didn't know what kind of quality hops he's getting, and he basically talks about throwing in hands full. Well, it depends on the size of your hand, how much you're going there. He doesn't have the quantity of malt, doesn't tell you the types of malt. He talks about the molasses. He, it did look to me that he was brewing an ale, and I would say more of an, of an amber ale, what I would get out of it, he brewed. So for all the crap you're not, just to slam baby in, Viv, I'm going to put this in your face. You're wrong. Go to Thrill List and look at the recipe. He's got in there that he basically brews the beer, and he pours it into the cast, the wooden cast, leave the bung hole open, and let it ooze out. And a, a week from the time that you put it in, bottle it. And he has loosely a week, two weeks later, scratched down there for his amendment to it. Loosely so, is very broad spectrum. You can use it to describe a lot of things. Right. No, you could not make beer the way he made it. First of all, there's no way to exactly brew a recipe. He doesn't talk about anybody that brews beer would have known this. He doesn't say what OG is. You don't know what that means, original gravity, which means I need to know how much sugar is in my recipe for my original gravity. Additionally, he doesn't talk about, there's a lot of different things in hops, at least the most important one. The people would understand the alpha acids, in other words, how much bittering. He doesn't talk about that. So if this has less alpha acids than this one, and I need to use it based on the one I had more, I can do my calculation to figure out how much more hops need to do the same thing, same bittering to it. So he doesn't have any of that in there. So you have to, no matter what, 
this is a big company. Have to no if they brewed the exact same thing he wrote, would have to say loosely based on it because it's not specific to what it is in there. So he doesn't talk about his original gravity and other things from a standpoint of being sued from a health standpoint. You couldn't make beer that way today. He, he doesn't talk about sanitizing the equipment or anything. So there's a lot of you have to say loosely based on a recipe. So I just want to, even though it's longer, I wanted to put that in there because that bothered me when I see people slam a company that makes a beer. Did now, they do anything special for like veterans or anything like that? Like some other. Oh, I'm glad you did put that in there. Anheuser Busch, InBev, union company, by the way, which means that they're paying a union wage, which is a decent wage. Unlike the people around here, they're on the news saying we have to, um, we can't be in business. I'm renting bicycles in Rehoboth Beach, and I can't rent them effectively paying minimum wage. You own the building you're in, which is probably. I'd say high six figures to seven figures, that's step one. Step two is that renting bicycles, you're probably making $300,000 a year Very part much, time. go off on tangent much. I, I'm sorry, but people like this just may want to slap the crap. If you can't effectively afford to be in business paying somebody minimum wage at $10 an hour, you're in the wrong business, dude. Close your doors. Nobody needs to make $10 an hour. I don't care if it's a child. That's bullshit money. Sorry to say that it is what it is. My thing on that. Anyway. Um, he, the AB Invet pays a really good wage, union, union employees. This is actually made by a select group of veterans, meaning that the people that make this are veterans. So it's only a few people that make it, a select group of experienced brewers that are veterans that make it. And I'll put a specific charity for what it is. I don't recall offhand. Um, for every six pack that's sold, it's 25 cents for every case, which they have on their list. That's why I got the, uh, the uh, calorie rating at 271 from Budweiser. Basically, they're saying that a dollar for every case is donated to the charity for veterans. Um, I believe it's to educate the family members from, uh, or the veterans if they come back. If they don't, it would be the family members of going to college or trade school. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I think it's a really good thing. I'm glad you, I, I forgot I about like that. I like to give it, back. Because you know me, I go off a little tangent. I do like this. I think we got it for $5 and it lists for, they say not, it usually like 12 or something when I say that. It was Marshall's, wasn't it? So, two thumbs up. What do you think? That's a backwards Billy. Two thumbs up. I definitely recommend this. It's um, like eight ninety nine a six pack. So, like thirty five dollars a case or forty dollars a case. It's only to depend where you buy it at. I, in my opinion, it's a good beer. Um, it's worth buying a six pack for the charity and to give it a try. Another thing is coming this fall, ABM Bev is actually coming out with a barrel aged beer. And I believe they're partnering with Jim Beam, if I'm correct in that. Um, and they're, 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 so it's already obviously being made. It's going to be a barrel aged beer for the fall through the early winter. So, Backwards Billy, two thumbs up. We're going to click like, subscribe to Backwards Billy Craft Beer Reviews. Um, I took off a couple of weeks, and here's why. But then I'll do a separate video on that. But in essence, we had the worst mosquitoes in a 75 plus year range. And Tell them about the horse fly. Oh, I, I'm not kidding you. The horse fly was longer than this. He was literally this big, was he not? Mm -hmm. As big as a lobster from that point to that point. I've never seen and one wider. that big. I mean, we, we, we've seen them bigger. He was literally that big. I've never seen one that. He landed on the screen. I thought he could probably eat his way in. But um, if they, they, they bite, the yellow fly flying around you now, sweat fly, they bite. You got blue heads, green heads. Yes, I know. Um, the mosquitoes were the worst. They said, and then they said they were worse than uh, 100 years plus. So anyway. You have, we have tiger mosquitoes, saltwater mosquitoes, fresher mosquitoes, nighttime mosquitoes, daytime mosquitoes, dawn water, dawn mosquitoes, a 24-hour mosquito, which is typical to this area. We're by the water, um, so in essence, by saltwater you get that, and there's freshwater ponds around here because the agriculture area people irrigate for their livestock and for their crops. Yes, dear, you're going on I'm sorry, I'm, not get, but I'm just saying that's what it is. So I, I didn't want to be able to do it for that, and then I had a gout problem, so I had to go to the doctor as I did before, but then I had another attack because... It's not the it's not beer. It's the sodas I drink. It's like a lot of sodas too. Um, so I had to go to the doctor for that, and then it, you know I had allergies. So life the, happened. Life happened, but it wasn't like I was ill or sick or dead. It was just life. Life, and mainly mosquitoes. I, I wasn't about to sit out here and do a review on it and be miserable. And then we had the temperatures get to be in the nineties on average, high nineties, and it went to over hundred degrees. It was just miserable. They, since we had a lot of rain, we went off, we couldn't do the research of rain for days of rain, they were finally able to do the airplane splaying, and they did it again today. 
which is why I didn't review it now because it messed up my. Um, yes, dear, my hand's going numb. I'm sorry. My case study. But so they sprayed enough now to knock the mosquitoes down that we can do something. People say, oh, you can put a mosquito thing. Dude, I'll be anti mosquito thing every 30 seconds. Catch it. Anyway, back with Billy, two thumbs up. Thanks a lot. I'm going to click like, subscribe. Have an awesome day, guys. Thanks Forward for being concerned for him. Yeah, thanks. Uh, especially Ron Gravis asked me that question. Thanks, Ron. Have a good day, guys.